Welcome, this is a quick tour of Pixel Table Cloud. If you go to our doc site, docs.pixeltable.com, you navigate over to the Cloud tab and follow along with me in this quick start. So today we're launching our community tier for Pixel Table Cloud, which includes free accounts with one terabyte of multimodal data storage. Shared data tables in Pixel Table Cloud can be just shared with yourself, your teammates, or with anyone in the world if you want to make it public. These data sets can include images, audio files, video files, documents, as well as any of the transformations that you've run locally. So anything that has generated outputs that you've created with Pixel Table also get bundled up in the same table API for your recipients. This means it's dead simple for you to be able to share both the inputs and outputs of your multimodal development workflows. And for recipients, it helps them get to work right away and be able to see exactly what you put in and what you got out in your local development. So let's get started. This quick start guide tells you exactly which version of Pixel Table to make sure you have installed to use this functionality in our SDK. And some of the quick ways to be able to replicate a data set locally, which doesn't require a Pixel Table Cloud account nor an API key. And then how to publish a data set, which does require a Pixel Table account and an API key. We also have a data sharing guide here. So if you go to our main website and go under user guides, you can find this again under feature guides. It's called data sharing. And I'm going to hop on over to a collab and show you how it works. So here I've already installed Pixel Table, the right version, and I've imported it into this local session. And I've made sure I have a clean working space, but you don't need to do this if you're working for the first time. I'm first going to start by showing you that I have no tables in this workspace at all. And I'm going to start with PXT Replicate. So this is the function to be able to pull in a cloud data set from Pixel Table Cloud into my local environment. So I'm going to click on that, and it does take a moment. You can see that it takes two arguments, remote underscore URI and local path. I'm going to click over to show you the page where you could have found this data set in our data product space. So this is a great way for you to be able to find quick data sets that you can work with. I'm working with Coco Mini 2017, which is a mini version of the Coco 2017 validation split with 50 images from the 51 data sets you. You can see that it's got 50 rows and six columns. If you scroll down, you can see that there's going to be an image column, a few integer columns. I did calculate the width and height of each image using Pixel Table. And then I also used OpenAI to generate captions for each image. You can see that I used GPT-40 Mini. I also made an embedding index with Clip. So I'm going to show you how all that works and looks locally. You can see that my data set has replicated. I'm going to show you real quick that you can see Coco-Copy has exactly the columns that I just showed you and an index column. Let's take a peek at what it looks like locally. So you can see it does indeed have the image. It has all the columns that we could see earlier. Let me scroll up. And you can also see that it has that OpenAI generated caption. So this is a really quick and easy way for me to do all of this work locally and then be able to share it maybe just with myself or with a teammate that I'd like to collaborate with. Now, you might want to go a little bit deeper than just being able to replicate. You can also do a similarity search. Because I included an embedded index here, anybody can come into my data set and find all the images in it that relate to surfing, for example. And you can see that it picks up some snowboarding and some skateboarding as well. Now, let's say I want to do something different. Let's say I want to create a new table in Pixel Table using this replica as my source. So here, I'm going to create a new table called mo underscore coco. And I'm going to give it the source Coco underscore copy. Now, let's say I want to, instead of looking at the OpenAI generated captions, I want to use Blip instead. And I want to compare, see how they did. So now this takes a moment. I'm going to add it, and I'm going to let it run. All right. Our Blip captioning just finished running. And you can take a glimpse of it locally. You can see that I now have a caption Blip column next to my OpenAI generated caption. You can see that it's a little bit more sparse, like a group of children sitting on the grass compared to five children sit on the grass in a green outdoor setting, smiling while holding white frisbees and showing bare feet. Um, let's scroll down and read another one. Uh, here, a snowboarder performs a jump in the air over a half pipe while spectators watch from the sidelines in a snowy mountain setting versus a snowboarder performing a trick on a half pipe. So this is a great way for you to start experimenting with data sets. We hope that you create replicas, start working with them, make them your own, and maybe publish a data set. So you can go to pixeltable.com forward slash data dash products, and you can find new replicas to work with and create your own. We hope you start sharing multimodal data with Pixel Table.